And now, the best 60-ish seconds of your week. You know we don't edit the best 60 seconds, but this week, just one little edit. Because what could be better than Madison Square Garden, the Big East tournament, a great Providence fan, Mike Fessler, and Nova. And from the cacophony of Madison Square Garden to the quietness of a Philadelphia church, came here today to pay our final respects to David W. Marston, a great Pennsylvanian and a great American, somebody who served his country in the United States Navy, later became a U.S. attorney, fired by President Jimmy Carter, causing a national outrage, later ran for governor of Pennsylvania. Sadly, his candidacy ended a little bit like mine, later ran for mayor of Philadelphia, but throughout his life was a bright and shining beacon of goodness and light of the fight for freedom and individual liberty and for the traditional values which we all share. May David W. Marston rest in peace. And in Harrisburg this week, Governor Josh Shapiro rolls out his first budget. And we hear a lot about these are only starting points, and they are, but a couple of things worth looking at. First of all, the tone was markedly different than what we had gotten over the course of the past eight years with Tom Wolf, who constantly came in berating and lecturing Republican legislators from whom he was going to need help putting together a budget. Never made much sense. Shapiro's tone was at least markedly different. But... Once again, a request for a 6% increase in state spending at a time when the people of Pennsylvania simply cannot afford that. There were some good things in there, and we'll talk about them at length next week. But one thing that wasn't mentioned specifically was REG, the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative, a tax on Pennsylvanians that Shapiro has been all over the place on. He said he was opposed to it, kind of, sort of. He certainly didn't like the way that Tom uh, Wolf put it into place, illegal and illegally and unconstitutionally, but he didn't say we were going to get out of it. And baked into those numbers are about $600 million directly from Reggie, which, again, is a tax on all Pennsylvanians, a tax on our energy future, and a tax on our economy. And we've mentioned the passing of our friend David W. Marston. So we'll leave the bereavement to the side and just talk about one retirement, a significant one this week, as Jim Beheim, the longtime coach of the Syracuse Orange basketball program, gave up his reign after so many years. And having just returned from the Big East tournament, I think back nostalgically on the glory days when Syracuse was part of that great conference. We miss them. And for now, that is the best 60-ish seconds of your week.